Hello fellow hackers, Brypone here. Today, we're going to take a look at a way of hiding users in Active Directory. So we're going to do two things with this. We're going to hide users for persistence. And many of you are probably aware of the presentation Ace Up Your Sleeve by Will Schroeder, Andy Robbins, and Lee Christensen. I'm just going to show you that technique for persistence, but then we're going to turn it on its head a little bit. What if we use this to hide things from adversaries. That's what we're going to take a look at today, the red and the blue, the full purple team view. All right, so to start, hiding users in Active Directory for persistence. We're on our domain controller over here. We have a hidden OU. And as you can see, it's just buried under domain controllers and it's called incident response team. And inside here, we have a user. We have our user, Jim Varney, Ernest P. Worrell. <laughs> and he has the ability to do DC sync. He has DC sync rights for the domain. And we can make him disappear. How do we make him disappear? We quite simply add an ACE to this object or an access control entry. So if we come over here to security, and we look at the everyone group, we'll go to advanced. I've already built this. I'm just gonna convert it from allow to deny. If we open this up, you can see we have list contents as allow. If I convert this to deny, an admin cannot list the contents of this OU. In other words, they can't see what's happening. And we're just simply gonna watch this user disappear. So if I click yes and okay, okay again, and then I refresh, no user, it's gone. Why? Because we do not have the permission to list the contents of this OU. Cool persistence technique, right? Of course, this user can still be found, but it's much harder for admins to find it or see it or use it. Great. So this got me thinking, how can we use this to hide our user groups from the adversary. And I saw some research out there around these particular things. Uh, so what I did was I started experimenting a little bit. And I was able to get to where net commands don't work. Every intrusion that I work, almost every single one, the adversary is using net user, net group for enumeration, or the pen testers are using Bloodhound. This method will prevent that from working. So let's take a look at this. <clears throat> we're gonna jump over here to Win10 host two. We've got Clint Barton, and we're gonna do our typical net commands here. So we'll do net user, well, let's do net group domain. We'll get a whole bunch of domain groups. Right, we can see all the domain groups, enterprise admins, domain admins, and such, right? So we got our group enumeration. If we do net user domain, we see all of our domain users. If we do, uh, well, let's do, we'll do net group domain, and then we'll do domain admins. And we can see who's in the domain admins, right? So this is how adversaries figure out their environment. This is also how Bloodhound puts together relationships. But what if we can make this not work? That's what we're gonna do. So if I take a look over here at my domain controller, <clears throat> I'm gonna take advantage of grouping and the denial piece that we just saw, right? So I have created a user group and I put it in built in here and it's called deny AD read right here, deny AD read. And what deny AD read has is deny AD read has the same hidden ACL, right? But it doesn't have to, right? This is just our shell group because we're gonna apply this to a piece of AD that's hidden. Uh, and it's called the, it's called the SP 
SP prop or what it does is it applies permissions across all of the privileged users in the domain every 60 minutes. So we're going to use that functionality to hide our domain admins. Now what we need to do though, to make this work and not lock you out of Active Directory where you can't function, you need to have a group. That group needs to then have permissions applied to it and then that will apply to all of the users. But to do so, everyone in AD that is not going to be able to read needs to be in this group, right? So you create this group and you put everybody in there because why do they need to use this? And then when they're not, when they need to read something, they come out of this group, right? And then they log in and they get the permissions to read AD. But everybody should be in this by default because this is what restricts everything. So we'll start with our deny AD read group. If we take a look at the properties here and we have members, we have these three, we have these are the domain admin users. Uh, we have B. Almond, S. Monk, and Threat Hunter in here. These are all the domain admins. If we look at the other host over here, you can see we're missing one, the local administrator, but these are the users for the domain admins group. So what we can do <clears throat> is once we have this group created and then we add all the users that we want to not be able to enumerate the Active Directory, they're just blocked. So let's do this. Our user, Clint Barton, that we're operating our Windows Host 2 on, we're going to add him to this group, All right? So we'll go back into Properties, go into Members, and we'll go Clint, check name, OK. Clint is now in this group. We'll apply, we'll hit OK. What we need to do next is we need to apply this read denial to a specific key here in Active Directory. Now you need to go to View, and advanced features to see this. Otherwise, it's hidden from you. But what you'll do is you'll come down here, you'll go to System, and inside System, you're going to see Admin SD Holder. What Admin SD Holder does is every 60 minutes, it takes the permissions that are on Admin SD Holder and it applies them to every privileged account in the domain. And it does that because there's an admin count equals one on all privileged users and privileged groups. This will apply every 60 minutes, or if you force replication, it will apply immediately. So what we do, we go into our admin SD holder here. We take, go into our properties. We then go into security, advanced, and we create, create our denial. Right here, I have created our denial. And this stops everybody from being able to read Active Directory objects if they're in this group. So if all of your users are in this group by default, if they get compromised, the adversary can't use their net commands to enumerate things in the Active Directory. You've blocked them, right? You can also detect them using the net commands, which is great, but we're just taking this idea of let's hide for persistence and turning it on its ear a little bit and saying, well, what if we're hiding from the bad guy? A little bit of deception. It's a security by obscurity, but hey, I don't want to give them information unless they need it. This also will make your pen testers live hell. Their bloodhound scans won't work. They won't be able to figure out who's in the domain admins or enterprise admin groups. It'll just make it disappear. Now, quite simply, to create this, you want to create the, the permission entry or the ACE, and you want to give it deny. You want to do this object and all descendant objects. You then check list contents, read all properties, and read permissions. To save yourself from having to uncheck all of the boxes below, come down here to the bottom and go clear all, go back to the top, list contents, read all properties, and then read permissions, and click OK. That will deny read access, right? So this is access read is now denied for listing contents, reading all properties, and reading permissions for our group that we created, deny AD read, okay? So to make this function, we then have to do some replication. So over here, I've got a script, invoke AD, SD propagation. We're just gonna run this. This just forces a SD prop to happen, and it 
forces this out to all of the admin users. So we'll go ahead and we'll force this out. And then what's going to happen is I will log off and log on to this host over here. I'm going to stop the video for a second. Or actually, I'll just quick. Yeah, I'll stop the video for a second and we'll come right back. All right, and we're back. So I'm going to go ahead and close the command prompt now just to make sure that I don't have any permissions hanging from before. We'll go command prompt again. And now we're going to do the same net commands that we were running earlier. So we'll do net user domain administrator. Access is denied. Oh, cool, huh? Now, if I do the same thing with domain admins, and then I do net group here, I can't read it. What else can't read it? Bloodhound. So this is how you drive your pen tester crazy. This is a form of deception, not really deception, but you're just withholding information. Net commands won't work, Bloodhound won't work, but it doesn't matter what you try, you're not gonna see these hidden groups. Here's the really cool part, net group domain. We'll just list them all. Notice the ones that are missing now. There is no domain admins, there is no enterprise admins. So when the net command is used to list these things, which it is used in most intrusions on your second phase, you can make it to where the adversary can't see it. And this is just a simple little trick. Now, you have to have a mature systems administrator team to understand this, right? And you need to test this in your environment. I will make a blanket recommendation of, hey, go do this right now. But you saw it's not that complex to take Active Directory permissions and turn them upside down so that you're making the adversary's life harder. And that's all I've got for you this week. Hack the planet to defend better.